guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here at Crystal's Reproduction Vet. This is Buena Vista Farm, Equine Reproduction, and Folding Center. This is where Crystal had her baby, and you guys have seen glimpses of it here and there in my videos, but I thought it made sense to give you guys like an official farm tour. So let's go ahead and get started. So you guys have probably seen this driveway in so many of my pregnancy videos. I just love it. I think it's so beautiful. So every time I come here, I try to take a video of it. <laughs> this farm actually has about seven pastures and nine paddocks. This is one of the bigger pastures. And in the beginning of the foaling season, all the pregnant mares that aren't quite as close to their due date hang out out here. But towards the end of the foaling season, this is where all the mamas and babies hang out. And over here in this pasture, this is where all the pregnant mares get turned out for the day. The ones that already have their full alerts in and that are closer to their due date. All of the pastures actually have big blocks of alfalfa in them. So not only are the horses being fed in the morning and in the evening when they're in their stalls, but also out in the pasture. So they get to eat 24 seven. All right, so over here we have the feeding pens and most of the pastures have feeding pens. These are used to kind of monitor how much each mare is eating, make sure they're not taking each other's food. During the beginning of the foaling season, the pregnant mares who aren't quite as close to their due date get fed in here. During feeding time is when they get evaluated they get checked to see if they're getting any closer to foaling and then towards the end of the foaling season once the babies are here they come into each pen with their mom to eat breakfast and dinner and that's when they get their temperature checked so the foals all get their temperatures checked every single morning so the pens come in handy so that you're not like running after them loose in the pasture all right guys so we are finally at the barn and this farm actually has four barns in total this is kind of like the main barn so let's go ahead and get started I'll give you guys an official tour so this is a 20 stall barn and it's actually kind of split in half. So on this end of the barn is where all the pregnant mares stay. And the day gets started pretty early around here. At 7 a.m. everyone's up and at it. The horses get fed, they get watered, and they get turned out for the day. Over here, I, I have to show you guys this. This is like the coolest thing ever. I've never seen a barn with this kind of like watering system. I've always just used a hose or an automatic waterer, but look how cool this is. So there's like little faucets on each stall. When you turn them on, it just fills the bucket inside. So each stall has their own little faucet. I don't know why I find that to be so cool. I'm guessing it's because I like never seen it before, but yeah, this is how they all get watered. And another cool thing is that all the stalls actually have like this little information tag holder where the mayor's names are written down, what kind of feed they get, how much they get, what day they're due. So it just kind of keeps everything organized. I'll actually insert a clip of Crystal's stall and her little name tag. This was her stall. <laughs> She's obviously not here anymore. She's finally back home and you guys will be seeing that video soon. But yeah, this was her stall. And over here we have the folding stall. You guys probably already recognize it if you watched Crystal's folding video. This is where she had her baby. <laughs> it's huge. It's a huge stall. Every time a mare's full alert goes off, they all get moved over here to have their little babies. <laughs> it's actually disinfected every time a mare gives birth. So the walls are washed, they're disinfected, the stall is clean, which actually gives me peace of mind because I know that there won't be any cross-contamination or anything scary like that. And another cool thing is that the full alerts actually get cleaned and tested a couple times a week just to make sure they're not malfunctioning and that it stays clean, obviously. That's part of the morning routine. And all the pregnant mares actually have cameras in their stalls so that they can be monitored throughout the night. Also, all the stalls actually have fans for these insanely hot Florida summers. All right, so now we're making our way down to this side of the barn and over here we have the wash rack. This is where all the mares get washed and cleaned off after they've given birth and also the horses get baths here. It's just, it's just a wash rack. <laughs> over here is the little medicine wagon. I don't know if it's officially called that, but that's just what I call it. This is where all the meds are prepared for any of the horses in the stall if they're on medication. There's actually a treatment list on here that shows what horses get what, how much, and until when. All right, now we're moving on to the farm office. You guys, I love this office so much. Let's go inside and I'll show you. So the first thing you see when you walk into the office is a little coffee station. And then on this side, this is the full alert. So this is like the little modem that sends out the signal whenever the alert goes off and a mare starts foaling. This is where all the meetings are held, appointments are made, um, inventory is looked over, files, just like anything that has to do with business and office stuff. There's actually like cool mementos everywhere as you can see. There's certificate, awards, pictures. It's so funny because this is always sat here but I don't know what the story is behind this. 
it's like a little piece of pie. Sometimes I just like walk around here and look at all the pictures. <laughs> and actually you guys, this is like the prettiest office ever. Like I'm in love with it. You actually get a view out to the pasture. Okay, and over here we have the board. This is where everything is jotted down. The day the farrier's coming, the day a horse is getting dropped off or picked up. So this is kind of like information central. Everything is written down. Over here we have the little grooming station. This is where all the yearlings get prepped for the sale, which is another service they offer here as well. So this is kind of like the salon. <laughs> So now we're moving on to the other half of the barn. This is the side where all the new moms and their babies have their stalls. As you can see, there's a new little baby right over there, napping. Oh, I just woke them up. Sorry, baby. This side of the barn is where all the foals stay. And the foals actually get their temperature taken every single morning before they get turned out. Once they're fed and watered and turned out, then the stalls get cleaned. And the stalls actually get cleaned about three times a day. Over here is the little feed wagon. I call everything a wagon, just so you guys know I'm like making these names up. But basically, this is where all the hay and grain is kept for the horses here in the barn. All right, so now we're at the smaller paddocks. These are just behind the barn, and this is where all the new moms and their new babies get turned out for the day. Over here we have another pasture that is usually used to quarantine any horses that are being imported or exported. That's another service they offer here as well. And fun fact, quarantined horses actually have to be 30 feet away from any other horse. So this is what they usually use this pasture for. All right, you guys, now we're down to the second barn and this is actually the lab. I feel like you guys already know this. You've seen it a bunch of times, but over here we have the stocks and this is where all the mares get examined, where they get their ultrasounds, where they get flushed. This is where Crystal got all her ultrasounds. <laughs> and over here we actually have a horse scale and this is like super cool. I had never seen one before until I came here. I want you guys to guess how much Crystal weighed. I actually said it in one of my previous videos, so I'm gonna give you guys like a couple seconds Okay, ready? Did you guess? Did you leave it in the comments below? Now, can you guys guess how much her baby weighed? I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. He weighed 86 pounds. <laughs> but yeah, this is like super cool. This is where all the newborn babies get weighed and all the mares. It's just, it's just a big scale. <laughs> all right, you guys, over here we have the dummy and this is actually used to collect stallions. I haven't gotten the chance to see that yet, but I think it's super cool. And as you guys can see, the floor right under the dummy is completely different. It's clay as opposed to the concrete and that's so that the horses don't slip to make things a little bit more safe. And connected to the lab, there's actually more stalls. And these stalls are used to hold horses that are coming here for the day to get checked, to get evaluated, also for layups. So that's another service they offer here as well. So for example, horses who just had surgery, horses who have a specific treatment, who need medication every few hours, or need to be hand walked, they offer that here as well. And this is where those horses would stay. But now over here is the door to the lab. And you guys, this is like the coolest place ever. So let's go inside and I'll show you. All right, so now we're inside the lab and I don't know why you guys, this is like the coolest place. This is where all the medicine and antibiotics are stored, all the equipment is stored, ultrasound machines, semen, everything is stored here. Over here on this side is kind of like the storage room. Everything that you need for an ultrasound, for any kind of examination. There's IV bags, syringes, just anything that you could possibly need in a medical facility is stored in here. It's super cool. And actually, the coolest thing of all is right over here. This is the nitrogen tanks where the the semen is stored. I don't even know, just being around them, I feel like a scientist. <laughs> it's really cool. Right here is the ultrasound machine. You guys have seen this a million times in my videos when I brought Crystal to get her ultrasound. I still get mesmerized every time she gets an ultrasound. Over here is the microscope, which is used to check the semen, to see the motility, and to see how many live and dead there are. And this machine is actually used to check the semen volume. Over here is the incubator, where everything that's temperature sensitive is stored. And over here is a sink. <laughs> Um, this is where everything gets disinfected and washed before being used again. These are all the shipping containers for the semen. There's three different kinds. This is for the cooled semen. Um, this is just a different type of shipping container that's also used for cool semen. And then this one is for the frozen semen, which actually looks super cool. It's really cool. <laughs> Two barns. We have a 10th stall barn and a 6th stall barn. And the 10th stall barn is actually used to hold any open mares who are waiting to get bred. It's 
actually lighted as well to help with their cycle. And the six stall barn is mainly used to just hold any of the studs. All right, you guys, here we have the shavings and I'm actually under them right now because they're covered just in case it rains. But the shavings get delivered around once a week and the stalls get stripped around once a week so the horses have fresh shavings 24 seven. All right, you guys, that is it. That's the official farm tour of Buena Vista Farm, the place where Crystal had her baby. I hope you enjoyed coming along and I hope that this kind of gave you a better idea of where everything went down. Thank you so much to Dr. Carolyn and all of her staff here at Buena Vista Farm for taking such good care of Crystal and her baby. If you guys are interested in checking them out, I will leave their link down below. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Here is my notification shout out. If you guys want to be shouted out in my next video, all you gotta do is just click the notification bell down below and then leave me a comment letting me know that you've done it. And that is it. You might be shouted out in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.